Welcome to the new features of CDFinder 5.7. Hi, my name is Norbert M. Dörner and I'm the developer of CDFinder. I'm very proud to present you the brand new CDFinder 5.7, the best disk cataloger ever. The new features in groups. Audio. CDFinder has always supported MP3, AAC, those iTunes files, AIFF and Windows WAV files. Here you can see MP3 and AAC. See, okay. Due to popular demand, we have added two more formats. FLAC, the free audio lossless codec, and ALAC, Apple's own lossless audio codec. Of course, CD Finder catalogs all important metadata, the duration, the tags, artist, and even cover art and lyrics. It's all there. Cool. Documents. A nice thumbnail is worth more than a thousand words. So CD Finder now has thumbnails for even more document formats. Apple's Pages and Keynote, Microsoft PowerPoint, Ooh. Adobe InDesign, and even Quark Express. Isn't that nice? How about text files? Wouldn't it be cool if CD Finder could peek into those as well and give you a small preview so you have an idea what's in the file? Yes, that would be cool. And CD Finder can do that now. Supported formats include Doc from Microsoft Office and DocX, of course. See, there is the text preview. And we also support TXT, RTF, NFO, and text clipping files. CD Finder will read the first 256 characters, display them in the inspector, and of course, search them. You turn that on in the cataloging preferences right here. In the preview section. Okay. Photos. One important feature you hopefully won't even see is the new metadata cataloger in CD Finder. It is much more stable now. So, no crashes. And you can finally export photos directly from CD Finder. Just select a couple of them, open the context menu, and export photos too. Then tell CD Finder where to place them what format and size you want, and if you need metadata. That's all. Pretty simple. <laughs> just hit export, and CD Finder will just write those files. All ready to be uploaded to web services or sent by email or whatever. Wonderful. <laughs> Next, Quick Look is back. Apple has gone through great lengths to make it impossible for Carbon apps to open the Quick Look window in Snow Leopard. But hey, a challenge is a challenge. And so again, in CD Finder 5.7, all you have to do is select some files that are currently online, hit the spacebar, and voila, Quick Look is back. You can even browse while that Quick Look window is in front. Yep. Back in Snow Leopard. Okay, next, cataloging. We have improved cataloging a lot. Not only does CD Finder gather more and better metadata, as you saw, but updating very large catalogs is now a lot faster than before. And we are talking million files here for the huge server disks that CD Finder makes searchable. And for those, we keep getting requests for some form of automatic and time-controlled updating of catalogs. Well, we didn't want to add a complex calendar user interface to CD Finder, so we figured iCal is a decent calendar. And iCal is able to schedule automator actions. Ah, automator, okay. So CD Finder 5.7 now has an automator action that can catalog or update any disk. And let me show you how that works. Specify some finder items, and there is the automator action. Tell it which ones catalog, set some options, and save it with a nice name, and Automator will do the rest for you. Automatically create new appointment in iCal and whatever. Um, there will be a special video tutorial about that as well. Okay, updating catalogs with CD Finder and iCal. Splendid. Now, we have also improved cataloging of folders. You knew that CD Finder can also catalog just folders, right? Anyway, 
If you catalog a folder, CDFinder will now display the data size of all items in that folder properly. And it will also grab any custom icon of that folder for the CDFinder catalog icon. Nice. Okay, next, geotagging. The cool geofinder is the tool to search for photos taken at specific locations. And we figured its beautiful map would be the perfect choice to add fresh geotags to your photos as well. So here it goes. Hit a place in geofinder. Just click somewhere, okay. And uh, select a couple of photos in your catalog and open the context menu. There it is. Set GPS location from GeoFinder. It's that simple. CDFinder will not only update its catalog with the new coordinates, but write it into your photo files as well, raw included. And um, there it is. And yeah, if you use uh, Google Earth, yeah, CDFinder can read the current position from there as well. It's called set GPS location from Google Earth. Yep. And uh, oh, we have one more feature in the new GeoFinder. Who can spot it? Yep, there it is. That's pretty cool. Okay, there is one more thing. <laughs> Domo arigato. City Finder is now translated into Japanese as well. Not that I would understand a single word, sorry, uh, but it sure looks nice and it is very helpful for our Japanese City Finder users, of course. I guess they're gonna love it. Mm. And I must admit, I did lie. There are many more things in CD Finder 5.7, little details and improvements. Please check them out in the CD Finder blog or just try them yourself. Okay, okay, here's another one. <laughs> Select a photo, find one, okay. Let's take this. Select the photo and in the context menu, look at the copy menu and hey, you can copy the preview. That is awesome. Now, could we use that as the icon for a catalog? Yeah, we can actually do that. Open get info for the catalog. And in that little menu, just say paste icon. And there it is. Is that simple or what? Okay, thanks for watching. And I hope you will enjoy the new CD Finder as much as I do.